Hey there, this is Todd, Sarah, and Jeffrey coming at you. We are Studio 48 at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Snyder & Company. Today, we wanted to cover some August housing market stats here in the Ann Arbor marketplace. Now, forgive me, I had to write these down because I wanted to make sure that we got these numbers correct for you here in the Ann Arbor marketplace. So uh, we broke these down into three different price points under 300,000, 300,000 to 700,000, and then 700,000 and above. Under 300, we have an average uh, sales price to list price ratio of 97.8%. That means that homes are selling at about 98% of their list price. It's not half bad. Again, in the under 300 category, days on market is about 15 days. So if you're looking for a house under 300,000, yeah. you're gonna have to move fast, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. This month in August, there were 90 homes that were listed for sale and 81 sold. So again, wow. it just emphasizes there's not a lot to choose from and it's moving fast. Yeah, it's brisk. It is, mm. it's going very brisk. 300 to 700, they're selling for about 91% of the list price. Hmm. It's taking almost 24 days to sell those properties. There were 101 listed with 110 sold. Again, that's between 300 dollars and $700,000 in the Ann Arbor marketplace for the month of August. Over 700000 usually defined as the luxury market. Yep. Those homes were selling for uh, just over 96.5% of list price. They were selling in about 41 days, so taking a little bit longer. Yeah. Right. Always does. It always yeah. does, absolutely correct. And 32 were listed in the month of August with just 19 sold. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a luxury home or luxury property here in Ann Arbor, guess what? You've got some time, but things still are kind of moving. The good news here, however, is you do have choices that are starting to become available for you. More choices than in some of the other price points. Absolutely. Mm. So in the theme of talking about housing stats, that was our local Ann Arbor marketplace. Sarah here is gonna talk a little bit about a conversation that we were all fortunate to be a part of or a talk that we were able to be a part of by the National Association of Realtors Economist, Lawrence Yun. Sarah? Right, so at our general membership meeting for the Ann Arbor Area Board of Realtors, we did have a special guest. Mm -hmm. This is a guy who knows the real estate market across the country in and out, and we know that real estate is mm -hmm. local, yep. but there are some national trends that can impact us here too. Mm -hmm. So one of the takeaways that we had from Lawrence was, first of all, about interest rates. Interest rates have been going up steadily over the last year, and he doesn't see any reason for them to come down anytime soon. Most economists in the country right now are pretty certain those interest rates, the mortgage interest rates are going to continue to rise. So if you're on the fence about buying, thinking, well, maybe the rates will go back down in the threes, mm, I'm sorry, but maybe not. You might wanna get going, get your mortgage loan uh, pre-approved now because it doesn't look like that's gonna change much. Wasn't uh, he even saying it might go as high as five like yeah, next spring? Yeah, he did, and I mean, you know, who knows, but I would d definitely say that's gonna impact your buying power. Mm -hmm. Okay, the second major point that he brought up was that even though prices are rising, we still have an inventory crunch. That's especially true in our market, I think. Excellent. So part of that inventory crunch is coming from a lack of new construction housing starts. The new construction starts have not come up anywhere near the level they were uh, pre-recession. Mm -hmm. And that has to do with some banking industry um, constraints have been put on and they're working on trying to get some of that relaxed a little bit. But in the meantime, basically, it's slow in the terms of the new construction housing market, and that is putting some pressure on existing home sales, making it, again, hard to get something together. So those are a couple of the major takeaways that we got from that, and we will have that information posted online for you as well. Really fascinating stuff. Lots of graphs and charts. You can see kind of where the Metro Detroit <laughs> oh, area falls in line. I love them. I actually do love them. <laughs> Sorry, guys. They know I'm a nerd. Anyway, speaking of new construction, Jeffrey, you want to tell us a little about, about where we are and what's going on around here? I'd be happy to, Sarah. Thanks. Um, new construction in our area in Ann Arbor is always specifically on the outer loop. Uh, most of downtown Ann Arbor is fully developed, uh, has a lot of older construction. So where you're going to see it both in condo and single family homes are kind of on the fringe. But the beautiful thing about those areas is five or 10 minutes by car and you're into downtown area. Right. Um, as you said, we're in one of the newest condo developments, which is North Oaks of Ann Arbor. They have the townhouse version, which I like to call the fitness floor plan. And they have the villas that just released their second wave of villas over there and is selling very, very well. On the north side of Ann Arbor, we haven't had product like this, so it's kind of natural that it's gonna be going that fast. 
single family home wise, uh, Pulte actually has a development not far from here, about a mile and a half over on Pontiac Trail, mm -hmm. and another development on State and Textile, yep. which is starting to go, it sort of straddles between Ann Arbor and Saline. Yeah, it's Pittsfield Township and Saline Schools, actually. Yep, yep. And uh, what I'm seeing and hearing for both of those is that things are going actually relatively fast because to Todd's stats, they're in that sort of beginning um, 300 and up price range. Sweet so spot. that's Very what's happening right now in construction. All right. Well, awesome. thanks so much for joining us again. We'll have some of this information posted. You can always reach out by phone or email to one of us. We'd love to share details, not just for the macro area, not mm -hmm. just for our area, but for your home as well. Thanks so much for joining us.